Hi Libra, welcome to your Love Connection reading for April. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Libra, we're going to take a look at a at a love connection you believe you have with somebody, so you do actually have to know them. You don't necessarily have to be together. We'll see what the energies are between the two of you at this time. So welcome everyone. Hope everybody's doing well. And uh, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female watching. It could also be past, present, or future. So please do keep that in mind. Please only take what resonates and throw away the rest. It may not be for everybody. So please do keep that in mind. Everything you need to know, Libra, is down below in the description box. How to reach out for personal reading, decks I'm using, social media. Um, tons of stuff down there. So please, please do go check that out. It'd be greatly appreciated. And if you do like the way I read, Feel free to check my channel out, like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. All that great stuff would be greatly, greatly appreciated. All right. I appreciate everyone and all the support. All right. So Libra. So this is Zodiac Oracle. We go get a sign element or planet, and we'll see what comes out for you. Libra, if you don't resonate with this part, totally fine. So Libra, what do we have for Libra in love for April? Please, Spirit, thank you so much. Or anytime I do consider all my readings timeless. Your playlists are also uh, down below. If you'd like to go back and watch past readings. For Libra Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Let's take that one. Let's see what we have for Libra. We have Leo. <laughs> Some of you could be dealing with a Leo. If not, uh, that's totally fine. But Leo does represent two cards in the Major Arcana of the Tarot. And that is the Strength card and the Sun card, which are two really good positive cards. Sun is the happiest, most positive card in the deck that you can get. And Strength is just about being strong, courageous, and brave, having willpower, determination. So we'll see how this plays into our reading. All right. For Libra. So Libra, what I'm going to do first is, if you're new to my channel, I'm going to pull an overall love energy. Uh, between you and your person and then I'll pull one for you one for them how you're both feeling about the connection and each other We'll clarify all that energy with the tarot. So what do we have here? Oh, so we have the clovers here. So this is about luck Good luck coming in and we have the six of pentacles at the bottom, which is about balance And we have two which is about unity. So let's see what the clovers have to say and obviously, you know St. Patrick's Day today is the 16th and um so tomorrow is saint patrick's day so how fitting is that so number two is the second card in the deck i just want to read the little snippet here because they're kind of cute clover i bring you luck and happiness i make things better and as long as there isn't a negative card after me i will turn difficulties into opportunities i am the nice surprise and the happy size so you could have a lucky surprise coming your way, Libra. <clears throat> All right. Could be about unity and balance. About a very strong connection here. Leo is about strength. All right. So let's get one for you, Libra. Libra, I'm going to put you here and your person here. But if any time during this reading you feel like the energies are switched or flipped or whatever, please feel free to do that. That's how tarot works. Every single thing may not resonate, so... How is Libra feeling about their person, whoever they're thinking about at this time for this reading spirit, please? How is Libra feeling about their person and this connection, please? Thank you so much. Oh, there we go. Well, we do have the staircase here, which is about options and making a choice. And we have the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom, and we have 22 there, which is double unity. Add that together. That is four. And that is about uh, stability. So I will read just the snippet uh, of each one. I feel like this one is your person. And we have, <laughs> I don't know if this is called the maze. I'll have to look it up here. But uh, they may be a little confused. Maybe a little confused. 43, 7, 7, you know, is not an even number. So that's a little, about, little bit out of balance, confusion. So let's see. I don't think that's called a staircase. It could be 22. Let's see. 22. Choice. Decisions and choices are what I offer. 
alternate direct alternate directions are what I aguar aguar. I speak in multiples in multiple and double and when I'm in a relationship I might be trouble. But we do have the Queen of Pentacles at the you know, here, which is all about um <clears throat> stable, grounded energy, you know, a growth abundance, being prosperous, smart, practical, analytical kind of energy, well grounded energy. But your person here has um, confusion. So let's see. Number 43. Labyrinth. When you think you're, you've done everything you can, you hit a wall and have to start again. I am the labyrinth that keeps you going through trial and error to the end. There are no shortcuts to success, my friends. So... But I'm getting like the maze energy of like <laughs> people just confused. They don't know where they're going. You know, when you're in a maze and you have no clue how to get out of it. You're just totally confused. <coughs> I feel like somebody's confused here. So you're, you could be an energy about needing to make a choice or a decision about this person. But they're kind of like in a confused energy about something. But we do have luck here. Good luck here coming or a surprise coming in. And it may be a love letter. So this person <laughs> may be confused on how to write you a love letter. We have 27 here, which is 9, which can be wishes and dreams coming true. But we have the 7 of spades down here. Again, 7, 7, 7. So, yeah, I think they're confused. <laughs> you know, this could be documents, a letter, um, anything like that. So... If it's not you or them, somebody, they could be confused about how to write you a love letter. And then all of a sudden, a lucky surprise comes in. And maybe they send you an email, a text, or, a, or, or actual an actual physical letter, love letter. And now you need to make a choice about this. So we're going to clarify this energy with tarot. Lucky love letter. I don't know. Lucky. A lucky love letter. <laughs> All right, Libra, let's clarify. And you're seven, Libra, I just noticed that. So we have three sevens here. We have seven here, you're seven, and then we have seven there. So I don't know if seven means anything to anybody. All right, so let's see what's going on here for you, Libra, in this love connection. All right, Libra. Why do we have choice here for Libra? I feel like you need to make a choice of what's going to bring you the most stability in your life. Two of Swords, yeah. But you may not. So we got 22 and then we have another two. So we got repeating numbers of two and seven. So two is a number of unity. We got four twos, two, 22, and two. And... Uh, Two is definitely a number of unity. So two of swords can be about needing to make a decision, but a little indecisive. So you may be a little indecisive about this love letter or whatever comes in here, this person. Um, you, you may know them, but maybe you don't know that they like you is also what I'm getting also. I don't, I don't know. But if you're watching this, is this is a love connection reading. So obviously you think you have a connection with somebody. That's too many. All right. So one more for Libra. Let's take this one. The Ten of Wands. So I think, <laughs> I think you'd be very burdened by needing to make this choice. You're going to feel like too much pressure about making this choice and you may turn your back for a while here as you try to decide about making this choice. All right, so why does your person have the labyrinth here about feeling confused? I feel like it's confusion about how to write this, what to say, how to approach you. All right, Libra's person, the devil. Mm. Oh, I mean, the devil can be addictions, obsessions. They could be obsessed with you. They could be, um, I'm not getting like in a bad way though. I mean, it could be that they're so obsessed about 
this writing this letter that it's like consuming them like they don't know what to say how to say it and it's just like all consuming to them which can be this devil energy and also fear stress worry anxiety kind of energy um feeling a lot of lust the sexual energy towards you also all right so what else here so we got the queen of pentacles that wow and over here under you we have the queen of pentacles so that's just saying here um they also see you though as somebody who's very grounded who's very smart practical analytical knows how to take care of themselves knows their self-value and worth you could be an entrepreneur business owner or in finances or just well, very well off and very stable and they see you in that energy or they know they also king or queen doesn't matter have to know they have to come in in this energy also towards you so let's get this actual situation for you libra and love eight of wands so there's that communication coming in love communication cupid's arrow striking so here's fast action travel communication cupid's arrows love messages coming in page of wands so fiery passionate communication good news so this is like good news i mean you been might have you know like this person too but maybe you know you like them and you know would like to get to know them and maybe go on a date and maybe they just are like really adamant and like all too consuming with this and it's like a little too much for you but you know the page of wands is fiery passionate communication and good news so i think you're going to be excited to hear from them <clears throat> but then i think <laughs> whatever they say or whatever they write is just going to be like a little too much too soon is what I'm getting, and it's going to leave you kind of um, unsure about making this choice, like all that fiery, passionate energy. I think it's going to be like too much too soon for you, but I do feel like you do like them, but maybe not as much as they uh, are pouring like their heart out to you. All right, so what do we have? The Six of Cups. So yeah, this is definitely a soulmate energy here between the two of you. So you definitely have some sort of attraction, connection here with this person between each other. You both like each other. Um, you could have known them since childhood or, you know, a long time ago, or they're from your childhood or a long time ago. Or um, it's just a very strong connection, like you've known them before. And you could have had past lives with this person. Knight of Cups. So yeah, they want to rush forward here. In love they want this love to rush forward with the night movement here all right so what else here what else here for this connection for libra one more one more five of swords yeah they it's like they got to get you and they don't care how they do it it's like i have to have my libra i have to i have to and there's that devil energy and then this five of swords with the knife just be careful that they're not too controlling they're not too obsessive possessive you know kind of energy but they definitely do have love here and they want this love to move forward quickly oh boy libra okay so but the energy here is um past life energy soulmate energy soulmates coming together but I'm also getting like this person isn't going to let anything, anyone, or any circumstance get in their way to getting to you either. Oh, okay, Libra. So let's get advice for this connection, Libra. Libra. You know what? I want to, I don't feel comfortable leaving the Five of Swords there because I don't like that energy, especially with the devil <laughs> over here. So I guess these two, Justice in the Nine of Swords. Yeah, this stress. They're stressed out about this. I And with justice, they want balance. They want justice in this connection. They want truth and clarity. They're stressed and uh, anxious about this. Definitely here. So I feel like the Five of Swords energy now is... Um, they just got to get out of this stressed out energy of... 
I have to tell them how I feel. I may never have another chance. I may lose the connection. This the connection may never happen. So that five of swords energy, I feel like is them thinking, you know, I just got to tell them how I feel and get it off my chest. It's now or never. And if I don't do it, this, you know, nothing may ever come of it. Five of swords energy. I feel the stress, the stressed out about this, losing you, losing this connection, maybe never making it happen. All right. So all right, let's get just one more on this. Two of Cups, yeah, and I had said that about this partnership, this unity, this love, this soulmate union. They're stressed out about it. Yeah, that's how that's what I feel now with the Five of Swords. Not getting a really a bad energy really now, but um, for some it may be, you know, so be careful of that. So let's see what the advice is. So magician here, so manifest this. <laughs> this is manifesting a new beginning here, so that's your advice is to manifest the soulmate union. So, but let's see what else here. That's way too many for the advice for this connection for Libra. Five of cups, so sadness over and heart over something. King of wands, a very fire, there's that Leo energy, very fiery, passionate um, energy. The king of wands, or it could be Sagittarius. So it could be a lot of passion between you. They could be a very fiery, passionate, go-getter kind of person. They go after what they want. So now we have the Seven of Swords. So this is the advice. So it probably would be for you. You may be feeling like the Seven of Swords energy can be like got to get away from something, sneak out of something, or it can be lies, deceit, or energy like that. Uh, or it can be, I just need to get out and I don't care how I do it. I got to get out, get out, get out. So <clears throat> you may be thinking, you know, maybe this is just too much. I don't know. Turn your back on it and just like sneaking away from it. But I mean, we do have a lot of sadness here. So I think if you turn your back on this and walk away, ultimately in the end, you may, may feel sadness and regret over this very fiery, passionate person coming in who has a lot of drive and ambition, and is telling you here to manifest this. So that's the advice. All right. Because you see, like, her arms are open here. All right. So. Okay. Let's get the possible outcome here for you, Libra, in this connection. The moon energy so very deep feelings here or it could be needing to listen to your intuition or being a little you know scared fair because you can't see the path clearly you know what happened it could be about secrets and illusions too let's get a few more libra for your possible outcome here eight of cups so this is walking away but also you can walk to something better so the advice here is to, you know, manifest this because you may feel sadness if you don't and regret if you turn your back and walk away. Seven of Cups, energy, confusion. So what I'm getting now is <laughs> you may feel confused about this connection. It may ultimately because, I don't know, th things may seem foggy to you or you can't see the path clearly even though there might be deep feelings and emotions, or you know they have such deep feelings and emotions that may scare you to walk away. Seven of Cups can be about other options, decisions, choices, feeling a little confused. But the energy is here, seven and eight in the moon. Ultimately, you may just um, turn your back and walk away from this person because I think it's going to be too intense, too much coming from them, too soon for you. And you may feel that something isn't right here and you may ultimately turn your back and walk away. I feel like from something good, especially with the clover there. So I would say maybe give it a chance. But so let's clarify. Let's get a couple more just to see here uh, with this possible outcome for Libra. Is there any other messages for Libra to clarify this outcome spirit, please? Thank you so much. Wow. 
Eight of Swords. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think you're just going to be so trapped in your head and so caught up in your head about this that, um, yeah, I don't think you're going to, um, you may just end up just walking, turning your back, walking away, rejecting their offer or their uh, letter here or whatever it is for you. But we do have the Knight of Pentacles here. So maybe, you know, you may turn your back because you're trapped in your head, but you may also say here, well, I want to take it very, very slow and see where it goes. The Knight of Pentacles is like the slowest, slowest, slowest energy. So you may say, if we take it very, very slow, maybe we can move this forward to see where it goes. So you may give them that option. And if they don't agree to that, then ultimately I think you may just like... <laughs> walk away from this uh connection unfortunately so what do we have on the bottom of the deck three of swords yeah somebody will be hot broken here the emperor so so yeah i think they're finally going to take control of the situation here with the emperor energy finally just spill their beans to you and write this very long love letter which ultimately i think will scare you away unfortunately and they may feel like a fool for doing that but this is also about taking a leap of faith and jumping right in. So they're going to take this leap of faith. Uh, but here is patience, balance, healing, energy, soulmate energies coming together. So this does have potential for a soulmate union, which can be, bring peace, harmony, balance. You know, patient, people can be patient here. But we do have the Angel de Lanui here, which is about um, transformation out of the darkness. And then we do have death energy here. So... You may only see the dark side of this and not the light side of this and may choose to let it just die and end here because you're still not sure about this four of cups this love offer that may come in here you're still going to be unsure and i think defensive here against it uh libra wow but it is wish fulfillment because we do have the nine of cups energy here but uh yeah, I don't think, I think you may let it end. So we have Scorpio, we have Sagittarius, we have Aquarius, we have Aries. Uh, let's see, we have Leo there. We have Cancer Pisces. We have here the Knight of Pentacles, which is Taurus. Um, Gemini Virgo. The King of Wands here is Sagittarius again. Uh, Libra, that's your energy. That's your energy right here, Libra. Uh, let's see. Knight of Cups is Scorpio again. Capricorn. Uh, Queen of Pentacles is Capricorn again. And that's about it as I make a mess of my cards here. But <clears throat> oh well. So ultimately, I think uh, this does have a soulmate potential, but I think it may be too intense, too much for you, Libra, and you may ultimately hear if they can't, you know, make that decision to take it more slowly, you may ultimately hear just end up turning your back and walking away from a potential soulmate connection. All right, Libra. Libra, let's get some closing messages for you, Libra, with this deck. For Libra, please. Some closing messages for Libra. With this deck, please. Closing messages for Libra with this deck. If you're interested in the decks I'm using, links to purchase them are listed below in the names of the decks. I am feeling this one. Choose love. You always have a choice as to what you should do. Oh my god, I can't make this up. And we have 21 here, which is three, which is about teamwork, collaboration, uh, rejoicing, reuniting, coming together. So, and you have the energy here in your uh, advice is to manifest this love. But the possible outcome here is you ultimately turning your back if they can't take a slower approach, unfortunately. All right. So, and I'm also getting with the clover with green. So, so like that earth energy, earth energy is very slow, smart, practical. It's about growth, uh, prosperity, abundance. All right. Let's take another one here. And we have the only thing that 
is real is love. Oh my, I, I just can't make this up here. Shift your focus from the problem back to love. And we have seven here, which again, that's seven energy. Seven's coming out again. Wow, a lot of sevens here, which is about like <laughs> imbalance and confusion again. But sevens also about being divinely guided on the right spiritual path. So I feel like this could be a divinely guided soulmate connection, but may scare you off for some reason. But let's get one more. Libra, Libra, Libra. Ask for help. What is it you really need to help, really need help with? Be willing to allow yourself the support you need. 14, which is five, which is about change. So, you know, maybe you need to get advice, you know, before you make this rash decision. You know, talk to friends, family, whatever here. Uh, expert, uh, love advice or something here about this of what you should do. Before you make a harsh decision here to turn away a possible very strong soulmate connection here, especially with the six of cups. And on the bottom here, we have honesty is essential, 38 here, which is um, 11, which two is, again, about unity. To be a loving person is important that we speak truthfully in a loving manner. So again, you know, I think this person is going to be very, very open, honest about how they feel, pouring their heart out to you. And again, it may be like too much too soon, maybe hardly even know this person. There could be, you know, looking at each other, maybe, you know, a little bit of interaction and you're like, Oh, I really like to go on a date or get to know this person. And they like, just like spill everything. Like I love you and blah, blah, blah. And you're like, Oh my God, this is just too much too soon. And it scares you away. But also be honest with them and tell them exactly how you feel about, Hey, let's just go on a date for us. See where it goes from there, you know, and see where it goes instead of, uh, turning away, especially, yeah, we have the two of cups here too. And the uh, Six of Cups, heavy soulmate energy here. So ultimately, it's up to you, Libra. Okay, Libra, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, it's to always, always shine your light.